When we construct scatter plots, it can be really easy to identify when two data sets have a very strong or a very weak association, meaning we see our points holding very tightly to some straight line pattern, or the points are very obviously just randomly spread around. But what we want to do is come up with a way to classify the strength of association if it's not one of those two obvious examples. So for that, we'll turn to the linear correlation coefficient. which is represented with either a lowercase r or a capital R, just depending on the source or the technology that you're using, which measures the strength of the association between those two variables. We'll be using lowercase r. r will always be a value between negative 1 and 1. As r approaches positive 1, we have a strong positive linear association. As R approaches zero, we have a weak or no linear association. And as R approaches negative one, we again have a strong association, but in this case, a strong negative linear association. And we'll pause here for just a second to emphasize that in this case, negative is not a bad thing. Negative just tells us about direction. So if we have a strong positive association, then as x increases, our value for y is increasing. If we have a negative association, as x increases, y decreases. So a strong positive or a strong negative linear relationship, a value of positive one or negative one, means we see that tight straight line pattern, just increasing or decreasing. And as R gets close to zero, that pattern is much less obvious. There's much more randomness in the points. But we still have values that are in between negative one and one. And we end up with uh, those values just being a lot more subjective to determine whether that association is very strong, more moderate, or, or weaker. In example two, we want to look back at the data set that we had in example one and calculate its linear correlation coefficient. With that data already entered into Desmos, we can type CORR and then call on the two lists that we have above x1 and y1, and Desmos will spit out that correlation value, 0.8793. That value is getting pretty close to positive 1, which supports the ideas that we stated before, where we have a fairly strong positive linear association. It's not equal to one, but it's a lot closer to one than it is to zero. Now what we want to do in our next example is repeat that problem, but flip the order of those two variables in our calculation. So we'll type C-O-R-R, -R, but in this case type Y1 and then X1. And what we see is we get exactly the same value telling us that it doesn't matter the order in which we consider our variables. Either variable can be x or y. We get the same correlation value. So absolutely nothing changes when we flip that order around. The strength of association remains the same. We just need to keep in our mind the context between which value is represented by x and which value is represented by y. In example four, we have a table that gives us the number of ghost sightings and UFO sightings for different states as of 2012. In part A, we want to construct a scatter plot for this data, discuss its trend, shape, and strength. And then in part B, calculate the correlation coefficient, 
see if that supports the conclusions that we already reached. I've already entered this data into Desmos and we've got the scatter plot here. We can see in this case still a positive linear association like we had in our previous example but an actually a, a stronger association between those two variables since our data points are closer to a straight line pattern. We still have some spread, some deviation from that. But we could say, again, a strong positive association. Uh, also a strong positive linear association. So we're going to expect to see our correlation coefficient be something very close to one probably even higher than what we saw in example two and three. So we'll type in that command CORR and enter X1 comma Y1 and we do indeed get something closer to one, in this case 0.9355. Our correlation coefficient in this case supports the conclusions that we already reached in part A just by observing the scatter plot. And what bo uh, both of these answers tell us or support is the idea that as ghost sightings increase, UFO sightings tend to increase. Since we have a positive value for the correlation coefficient and our values, our y values are increasing as we read that graph from left to right, we have that positive association. The two variables are increasing in the same direction, are changing in the same direction. They're both increasing. 